Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to discuss the problem C from Educational Code Forces Round 143 that was rated for Div 2. Uh, the problem's name is t-testing. I'll not be going through the problem itself because uh, it's a long statement and I hope that you have already gone through the problem and you have actually tried solving it yourself before you actually see the solution or this editorial video. So with that in mind, let's get started. Uh, so let's just uh, like understand the basic basics over here. So over here, the test cases would be provided and this would be the number of the elements in the two vectors a and b i a i is the amount of uh, each sort of t that we are having and uh, b i is the amount of uh, amount of t each tester can, can drink at once right so these are the two vectors and i hope you have gone through the problem so with that let's move ahead so let me just uh, write the arrays in this particular format so this is my array a this is my array b right Let's populate it with the values they have provided. So in the first test case, it's 10, 20, then it has 15, then we have a 9, 8, and a 6, right? Cool. So now what we are supposed to do is that this is the tester at zeroth location, this is the tester at first location, this is the tester at second location. Now the tester at zeroth location would be uh, drink this tea. The tester at first location would drink this tea. The, uh, in the first level itself right or the first iteration and the tester at second location would drink this tree now they'll they'll be able to drink whatever the minimum is left right so after the first iteration itself uh the uh, tree that they would have been able to drink would be tester zero would have been able to drink nine milliliters of tea tester at the location one would drink eight milliliters of tree and tester at location two would drink uh, six milliliters of tea right so this is what we are able to drink and now the t that would be left would be 10 minus 9 is 1 uh, then 20 minus 8 is 12 and then 15 minus 6 is 9 now however 0 would say that i cannot drink more tea because there's nothing to the left of it the test rate location 1 would say i'll try the uh, try the t that's to my left the test rate location 2 would say that i'll try the t that's to my left right cool so over here uh, we have tester 1 now with the capacity of 8 and over here we have tester 2 now that uh, with the capacity of 2 uh, with the capacity of 6 right now what is the minimum of 1 and 8 minimum of 1 and 8 is 1 so again now this uh, tester at location 0 has already gone out of the competition or out of the testing uh, thing because he's, he was moving to the left and nothing to, uh, to its left the extra location one would be able to drink one milliliters of tea so let's add one to it the extra location two would be able to drink six milliliters of tea so let's add six to this cool now this uh, finally becomes nine nine and twelve in the second iteration or in third iteration right so what would happen is that uh, now the tester location one or which was initially at location one and it was at location zero now it will say I, i'll try to go to my left now nothing is at uh, is at the left of it so it will go out out of bounds the test at location two or which was initially at two and right now at one would say i'll go to my left now to it uh, to its left it has uh how many amount of tea does it have now over here one milliliter of tea was left but that was already drunk by uh, this tester right so now it has zero milliliters of tea it will say that i want to drink six milliliters of tea but since zero milliliters is left so it cannot drink anything more right so not, uh, nothing more would be added to it and this would be our final answer that's 9 9 12 so let's test it if the answer is correct okay 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 yeah so the answer is correct the answer was supposed to be 9 9 12 and that's the answer let's get back to the solution now getting rid of the gibberish or whatever this problem statement was there basically what we want to do is that we have to keep a array a and a array b and you want to com uh, compute like uh, whatever elements are there let's call it a a not b not right this is a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 and a4 b4 correct so now uh whatever element would be the minimum of a not b not we would select that in the first location right then b would b1 would say i want to drink this as well 
so technically b1 would have drank a1 and a a0 right b2 would say that i'll drink a2 a1 a0 if it's left for me because uh a1 would actually first be served to b1 itself right but if still something is left then it will uh, go for b2 b3 b4 so on right similarly b3 would say i, I want a3 a2 a1 and a0 just change the color b4 would say i want a4 a3 a2 a1 a0 right so this is the way to go ahead now order of n square logic is pretty pretty easy over here but that is definitely going to fail so we need something like order of n or order of n log n scenario so how can we do that so what i can say is that initially i'll start from the location 0 right starting from 0 i'll keep a check of what uh, how much coffee uh, or how much tea has been already drunk and i'll keep saving the amount of tea in a set so i'll maintain a set or a multi set now this is something tricky because i was doing this wrong so i had to do a lot of uh, debugging so i have to understand that okay i need a multi set not a set i'll make a multi set of int over here i'll store the amount of t now why do i want to make a multi set because uh, when the amount of t i re actually require is more than the amount of t i actually had in that case i want to pop out that value so either i can use a multi set or i can use a min heap now you can use any one of them i used a multi set over here you can use a min, a min heap as well cool so now i'll start from zero i'll calculate what is my used t or how many t, uh, how much t i actually require so for a naught initially i'll start with location zero so i'll see the, uh, that the amount of t i require is equal to uh, bi right whatever was at location b naught let's say because uh initially my is equal to zero so i'll say whatever t, uh, whatever amount of t was left uh, or was uh, was available to drink or whatever amount of t the uh, zeroth person wanted to drink i'll just say that used is this right then i'll say that i have to maintain a set and what should i put inside the set so in the inside the set i'll put the t that is a naught in the first iteration it would be a naught then a1 a2 a so on and so forth right but wait a second i am incrementing my used variable over here right but let's say when i reach at a particular location let's say i reach at the third location at that time i'll say that i uh, my used would become used uh, my used actually would be uh, b naught plus b1 plus b2 right but the test testers at location 0 and 1 want uh, don't actually require the t at location 2 right so how to get uh, get rid of that so what i'll do is in each iteration i'll add the values of the previous used values so whenever uh, let's say i reach at a particular location 3 or at, uh, at a location 2 then i say whatever was the used value i'll just add it to my t or the capacity of t i'm having at that particular index i so for t available at index i i would add, add previous drunk values now why is that helpful because this would help me to maintain a symmetry now because of this what i can say is that i'll uh, i can say that okay the person at location 0 1 2 up to so on to i minus 1 also wanted to drink the t a, a of i right which is definitely not the scenario so i'm just saying that okay these per i'm just assuming that these people wanted to drink the tea and i'm incrementing the amount of tea at this particular location by th the same value so that would uh, make my uh, answer unchanged and that would help me compute the uh, result in a better manner so as to, uh, and i would be able to maintain a homogeneity if that doesn't make sense i'll walk you through the code and maybe then it will start making sense to you uh, or if you still would have doubts then we can discuss this further so let's walk you through the code itself so the code is pretty simple what i'm doing is i'm maintaining a multi set as i said right after that what i'm saying is that insert the amount of t i have now what is the amount of t i have at the ith location it's a of i plus used now why used uh, why i'm adding used the only reason of adding used over here is because i'm assuming that whatever people were there before me also wanted to drink my t or the uh, t at the location i since that's uh, that's not the case so in order to uh, in order to maintain the homogeneity and in order to uh, get the right answer i'm just adding whatever value is in my used right 
then i'm saying if there's a uh, condition wherein the amount of tea i'm currently having is less than used right what would that mean in that kind of a scenario that basically uh, so over here it would basically mean that uh, the tea is less and more drinkers were there or more amount of tea i require or you can say that negative amount of tea is actually available so i'll have to pop out all the values if that's the case now there's another case now uh, let's say the amount of tea i'm having is greater than used but it's less than used or less than or equal to used plus b of i or we can say that i still have some amount of tea but that uh, amount of tea would only be sufficient for the current current drink, drinker so it's not it won't be available for the drinkers after me right so in that case i'll just add the remaining values to my result variable and i'll pop out uh, pop those t out as well cool enough after that let's say there are still x pots right which have more quantity of t than uh, than i am able to drink so whatever number of containers i would have i'll just multiply the number of containers with the capacity of the current drinker and i add it to my result also i'll increment my uh, used variable right and i'll print the uh, print the result right over here after that uh, like i'll keep conti uh, continuing this process for n uh, for all the drinkers right at the end just print a new line because that's the way we print uh, like that's the way they expecting the outputs so yeah that's it for the solution uh this is not really tricky but if you're still not able to understand it let me know let's have a discussion of on discord because this kind of a solution which are high on intuition sometimes becomes uh, a bit difficult to explain cool guys so that's it for the video let me know if you have any doubts or you could uh, join the discord server uh, the link would be in the description and ask me about it cool guys thanks a lot for watching this video bye bye